Whew. What's good YouTube? Today I'm going to be showing y'all how to black out your Mustang if you have a black one or if you just want to black out everything to make it look uh, cooler, I guess. It's pretty easy, pretty simple, and it's pretty cheap. So anyways, let's get to it. So when I first got this car, I wanted to black it out, of course, because it's a black car. You want to murder it out. I first, When I first got it, uh, I wanted it all to be black because it looked clean, looked cool. And when I grew up murdering out cars to the thing, so I was like, now I have a Mustang. I want to do it uh, for myself. So the first thing I did was I smoked headlight covers. They're just stuck in by double-sided tape. So it's not like it's uh, you're tinting your lens so you can take it off whenever you want. It just really changed the look of the car fully. It was crazy. I didn't think it would do much, but just smoking out the headlights was like, it made it look so good when I first got it. I, I remember I was so pumped that I got them. They're pretty cheap too. I think they're like 40 bucks. So it's not like you're breaking the bank with it. You can also just tint your headlights if you want to. But the good thing about the covers is you can take them off whenever and you don't have to like take your time to reapply it if you want to redo, like re-smoke the headlights, I guess. They also sell them for the fog lights. I know a lot of people buy the Boss 302 style fog light uh, covers, but I do like my fog lights. So I just got the smoked ones. But yeah, smoked out lens or smoked out covers for your lights, front and back will work. They, uh, they're really cheap and they're really easy to take off and put on. So I highly recommend that if you just want to change the look of your car. All right, second thing is if you don't want to buy those, you can get Plasti Dip and you can, there's a kind of a trick you can do with just normal black Plasti Dip. You can spray on one layer, one light layer, and then spray on like three coats of Glossifier. That's what I did for these front turn signals. And I still have them on to this day. It just makes them darker and it doesn't fully black them out. I see a lot of people that fully plastic dip their lights and that's like, full, that's really unsafe because one, you barely get any light output and two, at night, someone could hit you because they can't see you. So fully blacking it out with plastic dip is not a good idea, but doing the one layer trick with uh, three, co three coats of Glossifier really works. I did it on the front turning signals and on my old stock tail lights, and that really made them pop. I also did it on my old uh, side marker lights too. Number three, you can also tint with vinyl, or with, you can also tint your tail lights with like tint if you can do that. It's a longer process with plastic dip, you just spray it on. It's a lot easier for me at least, but it does take some talent to use tint on tail lights and headlights and side marker lights. Some people just have a gift. Uh, maybe I need to just mess with it more and it'll be a lot easier for me. But for me, plastic dipping it was a lot easier uh, and you can still peel it off like it's normal tint. I would say that tint would come off a lot easier because it's just one layer, you know, and plastic dip, if you don't put enough on, it can mess up and it'll take a lot to take it off. So tinting is definitely an option. Number four would be plastic dipping your emblems and your wheels. You can also paint these if you'd like. I prefer painting over plastic dip to be honest. I only did plastic dip in the beginning because it was easy. I didn't have to really prep it except for cleaning the wheels and the emblems and it looked good. But I realized that painting, uh, it just looks better to be honest. It's a lot more glossier. My wheels are really dirty so you can't really tell. But um, <clears throat> it just looks better and there's less of a chance of it coming off, you know, because plastic dip, if you peel one edge, then you can really pull, peel the whole thing off. Also, if you want to get your wheels painted uh, and you don't like have a sandblaster and you didn't put enough layers on, it's going to be a long process trying to get the plastic dip off the wheels. Trust me, I've done it on a few sets of wheels that I had and I the first two times I didn't put enough on and it was a pain in my ass. <laughs> so I would definitely recommend learning how to paint uh, because one, it looks better. Two, it's easier. You just sand it down and you repaint it if you want to change up the color. And three, you don't got to worry about not putting enough coats on. I mean, you still do, but not like plastic dip where it won't come off easily if you didn't put enough coats on. And the last thing would be getting your windows tinted or tinting them yourself. Like I said, tinting is not 
or even vinyl wrapping is not my forte, I guess. So I did get my windows uh, tinted. It's 20%. I, I think I should go 10% because you can still see inside. As you can see. Oh, you can see me. But you can still see inside. And I want it to be like fully black, you know? Because you can see that box back there. People might see it and be like, oh, that guy has something back there. Let's fucking break his window in and take it. 20% might be good. Shoot, 30% might be good for you. But I think for me, 10% is what I'm gonna go for next. The benefits of tint, one, it looks good. Two, when it gets hot, it keeps your car cool. It's just really good to have, in my opinion. Some people don't like it at all. Some people like it because it keeps their possessions safe that's in their car. And that about covers it. It's not too hard to black it out. It's really just what you black out. Say if you have a silver car, I see a lot of people just running a black spoiler and black louvers, and then the rest of the car is silver and then the black wheels and everything. I don't really like that look, to be honest, but it's your car, do what you want to it. Don't listen to anyone, because at the end of the, at the, end of the day, they're not driving it, you are. So anyways, I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, rate, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you all later. Peace.